Hello, uh, I am not sure what program you use for video editing or what programs you use for video editing or even if you have familiarity with video editing, but this is the file that I downloaded. So I just went into, this is a program called Sony Vegas. There are a lot of video editors these days, Camtasia. I mean, there's a ton of them. Um, this is the video I made for you. These are the two downloads I downloaded from Zoom. This file is the masterclass from the 26th. And so what you'll want to do is open that inside of some sort of video editor. Now, just looking at the track here, I can see there is a lot of dead space, right? This is all just dead space. This is almost at the beginning of this, almost 30 minutes or a little over 36 minutes of dead space. No one watching a replay wants to sit through 36 minutes of dead space, right? So what we need to do is remove that dead space. So I don't know what your skills are for video editing or what you've done in the past with video editing, but this is something I want to get up to speed on. So just to show you this really quickly, uh, I'm not going to edit this whole video while making while making a video for you, I'm not going to edit this entire video, but um, I am going to show you just some basics of what I would do for this video editing. So you can see I zoomed in here and we're just going to start the masterclass right at the beginning of the masterclass. So now instead of this file being 36 minutes plus 40 minutes, it's now just a total of 45 minutes. We're going to make it even shorter than that. And the way we're going to go through and do that is to remove anything that's really just kind of not necessary to have in here. What this means is we'll end up with a whole bunch of cuts in this video. I'm getting my headset on right now so I can hear the audio. Um, and I can tell even just, I've done a lot of video editing. I can tell I'm probably gonna snippet this to here, right? That just looks like something that won't be useful. Um, so if I zoom in here, we can see we've got all this dead air, right? So what I will start to do is just go through and delete this out. Now you want to watch this while you're doing it, um, especially if you're new to it, to understand what you're doing when you're deleting it out. But as we go through and remove these, we're actually making it such a better viewing experience for someone watching this. So we're going to go in here, and I'm just going to start watching. Um, I'm going to save this before I do that because this file is freaking out on me for some reason. Save as. So uh, save early, save often. Um, yeah, that's just really good advice always. So we're going to go 2023.05. And it was 26 was this master class. And we're going to call this uh, Toxic Takedown. Cool. And you'll call it whatever, whatever lets you store it on your computer while you're editing it, whatever, or you might be editing this in the cloud. There's all kinds of good cloud editing tools now too. So whatever video editing program you're using, that's the one you should use. Um, all right. So we're going to start this now. So at the beginning here, when we hear this, uh, Lisa's in like echo mode, it's not noise canceling her microphone yet. So all she says at the beginning there is hi, everybody. And so um, here, though, she starts and says, Happy Friday, right after this. So I'm just going to delete this first part because her microphone's it's not a good place to start the masterclass. Happy Friday. I hope you all can hear me. Welcome. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. She says, like, are we good? Can't see any thumbs up. So she says, welcome there. So I'm going to delete all of this out. What, and all of this, even at the beginning, is happy Friday. Hope you all can hear me. Welcome. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Then she says, welcome, right here, right? So there's a lot of repeats on videos in general. Um, and so you can clean it up. I just said, um, um, <laughs> right? It's just a thing that we do. So you can go through and delete ums, ahs, ands, dead space. Right? I can tell right now looking at this, this is probably just going to be dead space right here. Right, so you would go through this video and remove dead space, remove things that aren't necessary. Um, but, and so, right, those kinds of things are just annoying to hear when you're watching something. They just they don't serve any purpose. Um, we started off with an hour and I don't know what it was, an hour and twenty minutes, but we're already shortening this video down. What you'll find is that you'll end up with a video with a whole lot of cuts in it. Um, so I'll just do part of this at the beginning, and we'll go through this. I know you can't hear it. Welcome. I'm super excited to talk with you guys for a little bit today. And so appreciative that that is 
really, really important and getting more important, which is that of toxins. She says, and I, so we can cut out the and. Like you don't have to be this specific, but you definitely want to go through and at least delete out the dead air. So as I'm scrolling through here, I can see that there's like dead air right here. Just, that's Lisa thinking, right? And it's okay to think. But when you're watching, it's much better if that video is edited a little bit to remove some of that so that when people are watching, they stay engaged. Right? If they have to sit through a whole bunch of ums, ahs, ands, ors, their engagement level drops. Just the nature of the thing. So we'll go in here again. Cool. So I deleted an um right there. of um, right. So you don't necessarily have to listen through for all of those things, but the more you can do of that, the better it is going to be. So we'll go here. I just did one. So... We'll just delete here, delete, All right? You'll end up with a video that has a bunch of breaks in the video, a bunch of just um, snippets out. So you can see we'll end up with, once and I'll zoom back out here so you can see that, um, you'll end up with just a video that has a bunch of breaks like this. And you want that. Um, you want to make sure, I just did one, um, right? I can tell looking at this, that's gonna be an um, just because I've video edited a lot. So going in here, I'm really conscious of my ums at the moment. It's funny. Um, this is what she does right there. Right? That whole thing can just get deleted. The more you do this, the more you'll be able to see that sort of thing just by looking at a soundtrack. Okay. The other thing is when we get the audio, and I don't know what tool you're going to be using, so we can look at tools. This is Sony Vegas. Uh, with, with whatever tool you're using, you'll want to make sure that the sound is in stereo. There's a trick to doing that in Sony Vegas. There's a trick. I mean, there's a trick for whatever program you, do, you use. What I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate the audio track. I wouldn't do this until I was done editing the audio normally because they can get out of sync and then it's really frustrating for somebody to listen to. But we're going to duplicate this track and I'm going to move this one because this is a mono track. It's not stereo. I can tell that just by looking at it, but it's not a stereo track. It's a mono track. What we want to do is move this one all the way to the right and move this one all the way to the left so that we have a more even sound quality. There's a thousand other little things like that you can learn to do when editing video, but this is just a starter. What you definitely want to do, if you don't do the stereo thing, that's fine, but you definitely want to go through and remove the ums, ahs, ands, buts, ors, and just dead space. So I can tell right here there's going to be some dead space. I can tell right here, dead space, dead space, dead space, dead space, dead space. If you only go through and remove the dead space, just go through and do that. There's going to be some dead space here. It's just time when people are thinking or transitioning between slides or the computer gets slow or whatever. But on a replay, nobody needs that, right? What they need. So here we go at the end. This one's really easy to see. That's our Peru retreat. Um, please check it out. She says, um, there. Now she's talking to somebody in the background. Hold on can't get in. Hold on, everybody. One second. I'm trying to do this. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. It's just, uh, I didn't watch this masterclass live, but this kind of things tend to happen. Okay. Um, so I think Victoria's trying to help. Um, uh, um, okay. So Okay, this whole thing is deletable. But you can see I didn't end up deleting the lower track, right? So that's something I would typically do at the end. Or what we can do is, and depending on which program you're using, uh, you can do this. So I'm going to select this track and select this track, and I'm going to create a new group. And then, but this is just this particular program. So whatever program you're using and get familiar with, you'll want to do that in the program you're using. And that way, when I go in and delete this whole section, which doesn't need to be here, oops, control D, control Z, split, oops, control Z, we're going to select none of them, try again, split, so now we've got a full split there, go here, full split there, and I can now just delete, oh, is it not, mm, it didn't group them properly, but anyway, 
split that. Okay, so now I can just delete you, you, and you, and delete. And so now I've got just time cleared up at the end. The last little bit, I'm going to just take however many questions I can. So which, this is a good question. There's a whole intro to that where she goes, so uh, this is a good question. Uh, so that doesn't even need to be there. I'll leave it for now, but just to show, like you can listen through this and figure out what things might need to be deleted. We're going to go here. I'm going to, hmm, it didn't create a proper group. All right. Well, anyway, I'll stop because you're going to use whatever tool you're going to use. The key thing here is to remove ums, ahs, ands, buts, ors, anything that doesn't really serve the purpose of the conversation. Just go through and remove it out. And even if all you do is remove dead space, dead space there, dead space there, dead space there, you'll zoom in and zoom out and zoom in and zoom out and work to remove things that shouldn't be there. They just don't need to be there on a replay. You will want to listen through and make sure after your edit that it you've edited the right thing, right? Uh, you don't want to remove something that somebody said when they're giving these presentations because then you might make it not make sense at all, right? So you always want to, after you've deleted a section, go back in and listen a little bit before and listen a little bit after and make sure it still makes sense. Um, but this was um, but... <laughs> Right, just not necessary, so I'm gonna go click down here. I didn't even know I was gonna delete this little section, but I listened to it and it made sense to delete it. Now, sometimes in conversation as well, you say, but, and it makes sense to have it. So you have to listen to the conversation and see if it makes sense, but you can also get this pretty quickly done. Symptoms are, in just a bit, something as simple as, used to be able to drink alcohol, which by the way, new studies on alcohol, and we'll put that link in the chat, um, showing that one or two glasses of wine. I always thought it was okay. It was actually not okay. Um, right, so she's got this um here. So what we need to do in general is just delete ums. And you'll get more familiar with what an um looks like. This is probably a tongue click. This little line right here is probably a tongue click. So people are talking along and they go. Um, so um, that's a tongue click, right? You want to remove tongue clicks as well. Oh, that's a microphone cutting out. Somebody has like sound or, or a sound in the background or something that happens there. So I will delete that, but it's just a little blip on the microphone in the recording. So delete that out as well. And now we see that we've got this dead space here to drink and, and you don't have to delete all the breath out by any means. If somebody breathes, it's okay. You know, it's human to breathe. It's good to hear somebody breathing. On the other side, if there's a lot of like, okay, so, uh, um, right, you want to remove that. Nobody wants to listen to that on the back end on a replay. So to keep it engaging, that was a really long and, and just not necessary. So anyway, this takes a little while to learn how to do and to learn how to do well. So give it your best shot. Maybe start when you first do one, just remove the dead space and then listen through and remove the dead space and any that are really obvious ums or tongue clicks or just things like that. I see another one here. So this to me, I go through and do this and this is, I mean, I used to do a lot of this uh, and now I don't do as much, but the skill is still here. So this uh, I'm going to listen to, she goes, and then learn more about that. I think this uh, can just be deleted because she's using it as a transition between slides and it's just not necessary to have in there. But you'll want to listen to it and see what you think. If you think it's necessary, you can leave it. I would err on the side of leaving things in rather than taking them out. But like this is just dead space. You can remove that dead space. Okay, there's a lot more to learning how to do this well, but if you can go through and at least remove the dead spaces when editing, it will make the videos a lot more engaging to watch afterwards. And these days, no one has any attention span for anything. So the better we can clean it up, the more likely someone is going to sit and actually watch through the thing. I don't know where we started. We were somewhere around the 45 minute mark. Now we're down to 44 minutes just by removing dead space. 
a couple of ums, buts, right? We really started with an hour and 20 minutes because we had 30 minutes of dead air at the beginning of this. Not good. So what we want to do is just make sure we go through and remove all the dead spaces out of it. Okay, let me know if you have any questions on that. That's a really crash course in editing audio and editing video. I don't know what experience you have with this. Maybe this is all just redundant for you and you've got great experience with this. But if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.